So next, we've got a man who needs no introduction really. His name is Craig Houston. Come to the stage, Craig. Give him a big round of applause, guys. Let's make some noise. Hi, people in the back. Welcome to our live. Could you put that down, please? I'll try to see. Please. Thanks. Welcome to a live edition of my 10 minute morning and I promise it will not be any more than 10 minutes. And they all turned up to hear it. That's nice, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Your people are my people and those folk are jealous. <laughs> this here is a document that identifies me across the world. And I believe that every person that has one of these should be the priority of the country that I should be. And that doesn't mean just British tubbies. If you have a German one, then Germany will look after you. An American one, America will look after you. And our concerns, if you hold one of these, should be paramount to the people running our country. And it's not. But it should be. And I'll tell you my concerns. And before, I will tell you how we fix them. No them at the back. They've not got a clue how to fix anything. They've had a go for 17 years and look at the shite hole we're in. Okay? I have four, more, four main concerns. My first concern is not the immigrant. I know plenty. Good people, honest people, people with standards. However, I have a problem with the levels of immigration. Now I get told I'm far right, I'm racist, I'm a fascist, I'm an a Nazi for these people over here for having that concern. But let me share a secret. For 20 years, every government that's came into the United Kingdom has shared my same fear. Because every one of them has put in their manifesto that we have too much immigrants. Yet none of them have sorted it. So if I'm a fascist, I'm a Nazi, and I'm right wing, then so is every Tory and Labour government of the last 20 years. We've had immigration levels 30 to 50,000 since the war, all the way through the 90s. Most of us lived through the 90s. Some of us can even remember the 90s. However, there wasn't a problem. Now, we have 1.2 million coming in. That's out of control. That's my first concern that needs sorted. They'll try out shout me because you know I'm telling the truth. My second concern is not the asylum seeker. I have a lovely family that I deal with as a volunteer. Good Afghani people. The man, the dad, helped our forces in Afghanistan as an interpreter against the Taliban. When our forces came out, he came with us. And he's a good man. He's a man with standards. He wouldn't stand over there shouting at me. And he is an asylum seeker. And people like him deserve asylum in our country. But I have a problem with asylum. Because we have fake asylum. Let me tell you how easy it is to come here as an asylum seeker. You pay 50 quid to EasyJ from any country in Europe. You get to passport control and you say, I seek asylum and you get put in a process. So why, why are thousands every month coming and paying 5,000 pounds and coming in dinghies and putting herself in the back of trucks? That makes no sense to me. We do not have a problem with asylum seekers. We have a problem with fake asylum seekers. Now my third problem is housing. And I can see amongst these people I know, people that serve this country and they get treated like shite when they want a house. And I know that is not a big problem saying we have a problem with housing, because these idiots in their parliament called the SNP called a national housing disaster. They said it was a problem only months ago, but I am a racist. I am a fascist for saying the same as them. They confirmed it. And we deserve better. What we need is telling our children and driving our children, infusing them, and educate them so they can build the houses of the future and stop the immigration problem because guess what? That isn't helping housing. And the last problem I've got is the amount of knife crime in our states. We so I'm a racist, I am. You're a crackpot. That Christie's here. Christie's here with the people. The gun button are over there. Yeah. They hate it, don't they? They absolutely hate it. 
Right, my fourth problem is knife crime. We saw three young beautiful girls murdered in the streets of Southport. And what did our Prime Minister do? He spoke for three minutes. He then spoke for another 17 minutes about far-right fascist protests. Never once handling what to do with a knife crime. And I found something out by default. In this country right now, there was a bill passed in February by the Tory party, and I ain't telling you they're any better by the way. And that came into force a week ago. And we are currently in an amnesty programme for handing back machetes, zombie knives and big knives over 8 inches. And if you take them back to the police, they give you some money. Because after that 29 day window, it will be against the law to make, sell or own any of these knives. And nobody knows. Because our Prime Minister, that communist guy that took the job a couple of weeks ago, the one that they all love by the way, he forgot to tell us how crazy is that? We've got one of the biggest new knife laws coming into our country when the 29 day window's done and he didn't tell anybody. So, that's my problems and I believe somebody stole my passport. If you hold one of these, I'm bet good money that your concerns are the same or you wouldn't be here today. So how do we solve them? Well, I'll tell you my view on it, and it may be right, it may be wrong, but I'll tell you my opinion. We do what we're doing today over and over and over again until these people listen to their concerns. And the next time they bring a pal, and the time after that they bring a pal, and see by the time we've done four or five of them, they'll not be in the same postcode as us. Then we tell them up to Hollywood. There's elections in 2026, and for those who watch my programmes on YouTube, you'll know I'm standing. And I hope loads of people let me stand, and I don't care the colour of rosette, I don't care if they're reform, SDP, or blue or red rosette, or even independent. As long as I'm not a yellow or green one, I'll stand beside you. Because we know how to sort this shit out. And what we'll do is we'll educate our young to fill the jobs that we keep telling us we get a skill shortage. We'll build houses for this ex-service people on the streets and we'll sort out this economy. Because we will spend five years in that horrible place called Hollywood talking about serious stuff, not about independence. We will bury the talk of independence for five years and sort the shit out that they've caused in 17. Who's with me? Come on. All right, Pia. There's my security. Right, so I think that was a 10 minute one. I hope you all enjoyed that. And, unless your humza yourself, unless you're that crackpot communist in Downing Street, and unless you're that mob over there that don't know the difference between right and wrong. Everyone else, have a great day. Cheerio, bye bye.